In a new study published in the New England Journal of Medicine, we looked at outcomes between bypass surgery and stenting for patients with multivessel coronary artery disease, multivessel blockages. And we found that uh, with respect to long-term mortality, there was actually no difference between bypass surgery and stenting. Stent is a hollow mesh-like tube. So uh, the stenting procedure is done percutaneously, either through a puncture, through the groin, or through an artery in the wrist and we uh, pass a wire through the blockage and deliver the stent and put, put the stent through. So it's very minimally invasive and patients usually go home either the same day or the next day. With bypass surgery, it's a longer, it's a surgical procedure. So the, there are many different ways of doing it. The common one is to do a median sternotomy and open the chest up and artery grafts or take veins from your legs and use that to bypass the blockages. For patients and physicians, uh, the, the, our study gives, us, gives them up-to-date information uh, as to which one to choose. I mean, is it bypass surgery or the latest generation stents? And we know that there are pros and cons with the every approach, and I think uh, knowing the pros and cons would help them make an informed decision.